Right guys, look who's back. I do hope you guys have had a great Christmas. I've had some serious technical issues with my phone. Um, not been able to get onto YouTube, onto the internet. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm back. Now, I've got to apologise for two reveals I have not made. The first one was a cut to any card remember this card shuffle it just so that you guys know it was a stack deck and it was the bart harding stack i haven't got time to go into that now because i wasn't sure even if my phone was going to work tonight so i'm not really set up for it but if you know the bart harding stack if you know what this card is you can work out what this card is and it's good with the stack that the cards can be cut and you could even spread the cards if you want to show at the beginning because it won't look like there's a stack, but that was the Bart Harding stack. And the other trick you would have seen a couple of days ago, that was a trick I up uploaded to YouTube a month ago, something like that. It was kept private, uh, forgot about it. When I was having those issues, I thought, oh, I've got to find something to upload, so I uploaded it. And once again, it was the bottom of the box gaff. I will reveal those two videos, but like I said, I wasn't even sure if this was going to work tonight. Just a quick shout out to all my American subscribers. I hope you guys are staying safe. I've only just watched the news. I don't really watch the news much. It's always depressing. And I noticed, shit, America is under snow. I watched a um, bit of news tonight and it said one state had 50 inches of snow. 50 inches, oh my God. The UK comes to a crash if we have like a few centimeters, let alone 50 inches. So what can I do? We're gonna do three simple fake cuts that every magician should know and they look not too fancy. Sometimes if you've got loads of fancy moves, your spectators sink in, you can handle the cards, you know. They're gonna know that you can do fake cuts and shuffles, but if it's just a nice simple fake cut, half the time the spectator will not notice a thing. So we'll go over three. Two of clubs on the top, 10 of spades on the bottom. The first one is very simple. It just looks like a triple cut and the cards are not disturbed. So all you're gonna do is break off a small portion of cards, swing cut it into this hand. You're gonna swing cut another portion. Um, no, I didn't do that cut, I'm even confusing myself. Right, you're going to swing cut some cards. You're gonna swing cut some more cards, but you're gonna hold a break under those two packets. And then you're gonna drop this down so in a fluid motion, it looks like that. So you're gonna swing cut a portion of cards, a third of the deck, swing cut another third of the deck, but you're gonna maintain a break between those two packets. This packet will just get dropped on the floor. I mean, this is a great cut. You could say, can you put your hand out for me? We'll just give the cards a cut and you could put those cards into the spectator's hand. So that's a very simple cut, but it looks convincing, but not too fancy, you know? And the next one is, a cut that looks like this. Now, everybody should know this cut. It's the triple swing false cut, is that correct? So you're going to do a move that looks like this. So you're gonna swing cut a portion of cards, break off another portion. You're gonna take this middle portion into your hand whilst pulling back this packet. You're gonna swing this packet down, drop this one down, and the cards have not disturbed. The card on the bottom and the card on the stop stay in position. But to a lay person, that looks like a cut of the cards, but not too fancy, if you know what I'm saying. So swing cut a portion, a third, break it into half what you got left, take this packet, stealing back the first packet, rotate this packet, drop it down, and you're back where you started. Now the final cut looks very similar to that one, but it's just a little bit different. So you're gonna swing cut this portion, break off this packet, it's going to go into this hand, you're going to pull this packet back, but instead of swinging this one, you're just going to pull it over, drop it down. Now these cuts work better in a fluid motion. It's quite hard to get them looking half decent when you're trying to show. But at a normal speed, it will look like a triple cut, but in fact, you've not disturbed the order. So it's a third, break off the half, you're going to steal this card back. You're now just going to grab this packet and drop this one down. So there you go, guys. There are three super simple, 
easy fake cuts which actually look quite convincing and they don't look too fancy. So like I say, I hope you guys have had a great Christmas. I am back thankfully. Um, it's an internet problem, so I've probably got some emails. If I don't respond to the comments, I will heart every comment, now I read it. And uh, yeah, we're back, so I'll sort out those two reveals for you, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good to be back. Cheers.